What is up, guys? Hearthstone Arena run here. Let's get right into it. And we have Shaman, Warrior, or Druid. I think we'll do Shaman here. I've always kind of liked Shaman. Warrior is a pretty tough class to play in Arena. Just doesn't do very well. And Shaman, I mean, or Druid, I never really liked Druid that much. Uh, personal preference, of course, but I think Shaman has some fun cards, and we should see a good run with the chamois. Alright, right at the bat, we got a couple picks here. Um, this is the least bad card, situational, of course. This is a great card if you can get it to work, and this is a generally not the best card in Arena, just because you can't guarantee that there's going to be Warlocks, and sometimes when there is Warlocks, it's your opponent has Warlocks, which also it also buffs your opponent's Warlocks, so I think... If we had to pick, we're going to go with the South Sea. Mm, this is actually kind of a controversial first pick. It's between the Guardian and the South Sea. And the South Sea is not terrible by itself. This card isn't the best by itself. Maybe it's not bad if we have a Taunt. Oh, well, if we have a Dragon, it's amazing. But we can't guarantee the Dragon. Maybe it's better though than the South Sea, which is always mediocre. Eh, tough one. I just think it's so early in the deck we may have a chance to get it. Let's go for it. Gibble and Stalker turn two. It's better than the Micro, I think. Flame Tongue. Awesome. Alright, Flame Juggler. This guy's good, but we need some early game. Ooh, Mad Scientist. If only we had secrets. Dancing Swords seems to be the least bad here. Amazing Forge up. Scarlet Crusader. Awesome three. Could use some threes. Whirling. Woo. This card is what makes Shaman good. Yeti. Good old Yeti. I would like to pick up a one drop, but Yeti is so good. Can't really pass the Yeti. Mana Tide. All right. Getting some good picks here, guys. Another amazing Bog Creeper over the mediocre cards. Mm, Fire Ellie. Awesome Shaman card. Three drop. Look at this curve, guys. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Alright. Now, here we may actually take a one drop just because we already have a couple twos. Uh, we're obviously not going to pick the Warrior. So maybe this either it's between the Trog or the Clockwork. There's absolutely nothing wrong with picking the Trog. But I think we'll go with the one drop. Take the weapon over the spell, I think. Yeah. Alright, so we don't have any fives yet. Uh, Taunt isn't actually terrible. This card, I never really liked this card that much, but after playing it a couple arena runs, I feel like it's okay. I don't really think it's great, but I feel like having a Taunt can often save your game if you're getting face down too fast. But here we don't have any fives. Tiger's always good. And Fairy Dragon, we have enough twos, so... Tiger it is. Hex, good old removal. Need this because Shaman needs hard removal, so go with Hex. Maiden of the Lake is actually a very good card in Shaman, unlike Rogue or other classes, because you want to use your hero ability, and it's a good hero ability to use, so go with the Maiden. Now we have some uh, fairly low quality picks here. Lord of the Arena is pretty bad, but it is a big card. Stormwind Knight is kind of like 4 mana to deal to deal 2 damage, and hopefully has something that sticks around on the board. Isn't a bad card. Hmm. We do have a Flame Tongue to buff it slightly. I think we pick this over the Lord, just because Lord is really slow, and it's really sad when you get it, and it doesn't do anything. But you never know, because we do need some late game here. Already 18 picks in. Eh. We already have a big taunt. Alright, let's go with the knight. The ruby and egg. I actually have a way of popping it. Two ways of popping it. Hmm. Did we pick the egg? I'm um, nah. Let's go with the lava shock. I'm kind of a pussy, but amazing five drop. Awesome. Over the Mediocre cards. Here we have a very good, very solid 2-drop. We're going to win that early game. Followed by another Whirling. And do we take a third Whirling or take the Rumbling? After you play a Battlecry minion. Oh, we don't actually have that many Battlecry minions. 
This guy's not bad. He's usually like a, a four mana four four, three mana four four. If you can get him early. But whirling though, nah. We have whirling is so good. I'm gonna take the taunt over the the trash. So we're at the point where we want to start picking some late game cards. We already have enough twos, threes, and fours, I think. Four mana, seven, seven. Great card. Basically like a five mana, six mana card because of the overload. Okay. Combos a little bit with the Lava Shock. Another really good Shaman card here over the okay cards. This card's great, but we already have, like I said, too many twos. Crackle. Some removal. Also some burst. Uh, Blood Sail, a little bit of synergy there with the weapon, but not enough to justify Let's say go with Crackle. Another Yeti. Absolutely. Over the trash. And late game card, please. Oh, there's a late game card. Beth, summon a 4-2. 5 mana. Or, another interesting weapon here. Your hero buddy becomes deal 2 damage. Um, this is a very, very slow card. Or we could go with the Enhancer We have so many minions. This might not... This might not actually be terrible. Hmm. Tough pick. I think it's between the Enhancetron or the Charge Hammer. Not sure what to pick, guys. Enhancetron. We have we have so many minions though. It's like seems like we're always gonna be able to hit something. We play the hammer. Get a 4 2. This might be the late game card we need. We already have so, such a fast curve. Also, it's like 4 damage to the face. Okay, we'll go with this. Hammer of Twilight. I want to pick this card really bad, the Charged Hammer, but it seems like it's such a slow card that it's not going to be that great. This is this is 4 damage to the face. When it gets cleared off, you get a 4 2. So, pretty good. Alright, so solid Shaman Duck. Um, lots of early game couple late game cards, a little bit lacking in the late game department, but a couple hard removals, a lot of really high quality twos. Really, this is kind of what you want to see in an arena deck. And this is one of the, some of the cards here that make Shaman good. We have like the Fire Guard and the Faceless, the Totem, all that stuff. I'm going to guess this deck is actually going to go, I want to say seven wins here. Seven wins, maybe eight, but I'm going to be conservative and say seven. So we're going to go seven wins here and let's, let's kick this run off. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. All right, scrap that hen. It's too slow. Now, one of the things when you get an arena deck, you can usually judge how good it is by looking at the bad cards. And if you look at our bad cards here, we only have like Twilight Drake and a couple others like the Knight, pretty much. So most of our cards aren't bad. Go ahead and coin out the the whirling, because we can keep it protected. By the holy light, that's incredible. <laughs> he doesn't have an answer. We'll play another one. By the holy light. <laughs> it's a really good start. What if we hex that? Was it? We hexed that. It actually, might be good here. Let's keep on going. That's incredible. That's incredible. Follow the rule. You can't deal with it. What's he gonna do? Oh my gosh. Card quality is too good. Then we can unlock our crystals with the lava shock. And play the crackle. Kill one of these guys off. This is two damage. 
We want to play this. This. Unlock our overload so we get an extra two crystals this turn. I guess we just play the totem. Mm -hmm. Crackle that down. Seems kind of silly. Play this also seems silly because then we just lose a guy. However, he's not going to be able to deal with this. Very easily. Maybe this is better. I mean, it's going to die for free. You crackle that. I mean. I'm going to play totem here. I, wanna, I don't want to throw a totem away, but... Could be good. I'm like, I'm basically giving it for, away for free, but he has to deal with the 7 attack minion, so it's not that easy. And it turns out I was right. Okay, so this clears off this. Let me hit for face. Um, alternatively, we could... Clear this off here. This cost. This is also five worth of stuff. Clear that off. Hit for seven here. Then turn seven. You can play the maiden, giblin, and hero ability. It's getting hot in here. Oof, I was a mess. So we clear this off for four, we do seven. If we hit for the the five or the six, we win the game. And we could hear ability to get a better chance. Play here, buddy. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. I am freed from the curse. One spell damage. No spell damage. I think we still do this. Ooh, good RNG. All right, first one down. Hopefully. We'll Mm, another one. Alright, we'll get rid of our less good cards. That was an insane early game. I love that. Right, guy wants to be my friends. I'll add that guy as a friend. If no answer, we can coin out a bot again. Deal with that. It's so much fun. It's like six damage on turn two. <laughs> good lucky draft. Let's say, I'm gonna say lucky draft. It's less good. I think we just play the play the two. I mean, we could also get, if we get a taunt, that's really good, right? But there's only a one in four chance of that happening. Play the Giblin, play safe. On turn three though, you don't have much to do. It's obvious that he's gonna trade into the three too. But like I said, that's okay. I mean it's it's gonna happen, so. Hmm, there's a three job. You have an answer! gets a card, but we still have an answer. Play Yeti on four. Now, sword, I think the swords are probably like one of the less good cards in this deck, just because it gives the opponent a card. But And you, obviously you can see it's never run in most decks because of that reason. But... Yeah. Gonna keep our guy hidden. There's no reason to play him yet. He can sit there. Can wait for a flame tongue. Uh, 
get behind me. <laughs> Right, so I think we try for a crackle. We just need a four or better. That seems very doable. Ah, right, there we go. Now I guess I'll play the Annoyatron. We could also try for the try for the healing. Yeah, let's try for the healing. Get it. we can save the guy from consecration. He didn't get it. But I think it was basically the same thing as in Wetron. Yeah, healing would have been really good. Healing would have been amazing. Reporting for duty. Right. Let's try for another healing. Do the taunts. T4. Play this, clear that off, hit him for two. Play this, try for a... Uh, it would be the, either healing or taunt. So we have a 50% chance of getting what we want here. I am free it's actually a pretty good chance. And we didn't get what we want. Sadness. These totems, man, they're letting us down. It was either the healing or the taunt that would have saved us here. We could have guaranteed it, but that would have been spinning our mana in a less efficient way. Let's see, so the Bob Creeper turns seven, and we have something else. Tomb Spider, that's pretty good. Mm, I'm less, I don't want to play this now, <laughs> due to humility. That's like unlikely to happen, but if it did, that would be tragic. And since we don't have to uh, rely on that, we can play four, five, six, seven. That seems like a good play. Play this first. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, no humility. Okay. Maybe it's get down. Take this blade. Take this blade. Take this blade. Uh, let's get down. Oh, there's a healing. Finally, you got a healing. And try to take advantage of the hero ability whenever you can, if you're in this situation, because you can just keep um, when it's for one mana. Especially with a shaman, because your hero ability is actually pretty good. So. Yeah, I think we're overloaded. Yeah. All right, come on, Hex. That'll work. Send the guy in. That's kind of expensive, but... Armor up. Save one health. That'll work. Clear this off here. Totems doing so much work. Now he consecrated earlier this game, so maybe hopefully he doesn't have another one. That would kinda suck. But here is a good example of why this card was a good decision. Because that four damage actually matters like a lot. And if we had the other two, it would have been pretty bad there, so. Because now we can take the four damage and clear off the, the Drake as well. Pretty good stuff. Okay. I kill this. Take this blade. 
Yeah, I know the secrets. So maybe it's get down. For the king. For the king. No, it's humility. Repentance. I'm sorry. Repentance. That's what it's called. Maybe we should have played this to test. Elements guide me. Kill that off. We can't do that because we have too many minions. Spell damage totem is so useless. None may steal <laughs> our secrets. Good trade there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve. GG. Well played. Take this blade. Well played, guys. Clap, clap. You asked for it. For doom. <clears throat> Alright, so curve is reasonable, but like I said, we can probably do better. So we have so many good twos, we're gonna scrap this stuff. I almost want to keep this card in our hand, but not getting a two here would be bad. So we we'll shoot for some good twos. All right, we get a Giblin Stalker. That's that's not bad. I'll never tell. Talking to my friends, eh? Um, this is probably better to coin out the Giblin here. Yeah, much better. Okay. All right. Um, turn three, turn two here. We want this to land on. Actually, it doesn't even matter, you know. This clears off. This will clear off this, no problem. And I guess we'll play this. Either way, it's not gonna do much, but it is a, a body on the field. However, we could do this, and then he pings that. Yeah, this is actually better. Mages, when they have a hero ability, a mage isn't gonna want to um, do. Spend their hero ability on three, because that's pretty inefficient. And the extra tempo you get, if they have to do that, is actually quite good. Such a good three. I almost don't want to pass this up. Okay, we'll we'll keep this card because it's so good. Turn two, put the whirling. Turn three, the spider tank. Oh, change of plans. Put the giblin. Good old giblin. Wow, isn't that just like the most clutch thing ever? Getting the right cards at the right time. <laughs> Trying to read this guy's text. I think I'm not going to bother reading. What he says right now, try to focus on you guys. Focus on the game. 
Mm, of this clears. Pretty good. I'll take the maiden. It's tanky enough to survive. I am freed from the curse. If it survives, we can play the hero ability. The light does not discriminate. Mm, it actually survived. I didn't think it was going to. Play the hero ability first. I get the spell damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Clear that off. Play the whirling zapomatic. It just dies. You play this. The uh, flame tongue. It puts a lot of pressure on the board. I'm just like not sure if I want to play the because I don't. Obviously, we're not going to throw away a guy, but maybe we play the flame tongue. Kind of preemptively. Okay. Also, is good because it sets up for another hero ability. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I was better than having our whirling die. At least it makes him use two cards instead of one. Try for a taunt. Always lucky. Now, Rooks have not that many AoE in Arena, so... This is our uh, chance to do a lot of damage here. Okay, so... Actually, it doesn't matter so much. Play the big taunt. Sort of biding our time here. We can't really, can't really trade. So. You counter one big taunt with another big taunt. Sounds like a plan. I don't know. Not blade fear. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Played fear that would have been tragic. So he's gonna take the six here. So they can trade over two turns. And we're cool with that. So we hit face, trade off that, this hits face. We have six mana. Yeah, eight mana, I'm sorry. This this plus tier ability. Let's see what tier ability we get. Okay. This will play the mana tide. Annoy the John, that could actually be good. Oh yeah, saves a guy. My friend keeps spectating me. He wants me to do, wants me to win. Okay, so we'll go for the totem now. Mm. Okay, this kills this for free. Hard to pass that up. You can do three, four, five, six damage to the face. Not quite good enough. I think we'll save this because it's like basically like a charge minion. Basically like a spell. Sign up today. Mm. Slow cards. Three, four, five, six. Sir. He's trying. I'll give him that. Let's see. We want a taunt totem, so we get the taunt totem here. And then we can play 
That's gonna block two points of damage. Let's block the Argent. Block the Squire. Join or die. Can we just kill that off. Make him use both this stuff. Trades the five. Okay. We want the taunt first though. Alright. Now we can send this in the pop this I guess. Nice sure. An easy decision here. For the king. For the king. For honor. I like go face here a bit. Ah. Try to control his board a little bit. As well. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> Draw into a 4 damage card. Just... He's trying, guys. We got this, though. Oh, we're frozen, too. Clutch freeze. Do three damage, clear up one of his guys. We take 5, 10, 15, 21, 22. Have to clear something. Clear off the tiger, I guess. Shoot for a, another taunt totem. How many, how many cards we've gotten from that mana tide totem? Has to send the guys in the clear. We've got four damage. Happy days. Ready, sir. Swap attack. Unfortunately, doesn't help us. Hit him for five. Hit him for four. And then we do. I guess we swap this guy's health around. Wins five damage. Five, nine, ten. Alright. Play the Shredder here. We could draw in, it's only a matter of time. Draw into our Lava Shock. We have another Axe coming up. We have our Tiger. That could always help us out. But it looks like we just win here. Unless he has a Taunt. Oh my. Oh, well played. He put up a good fight though. Must admit. Alright, that is it for tonight guys. Part 1, off to a very exciting start. At 4 wins, thanks to the free win of course, but 4 wins, 0 losses, part 1. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like, like or sub, it does help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.